All right, guys. Well, we are coming back from Expo. We're actually in Salt Lake City right now. Uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity, stop by and see what the guys at Wasatch Overland are doing. All right, guys, so check this out. So this is their new entry sign. They sent me a picture of this and Megan, but check out that van right there. So it's pretty cool. The new entry sign has Megan's van on it. That's pretty awesome that they did that. So let's go in the shop, see what they got going on. What's up, guys? Hey, Jason, how are you? Good. Time for some lunch, dude. Okay? I, I always show up just in time for lunch. Right here, we've got donuts, sandwiches, high tops, Mercedes, anything you can think of, we have from here. Okay guys, so right now they're finishing up the high top on this van right here. This is a shorty like mine. But if you guys remember, this is where Megan got her high top put on and she's got the extended. But there, see that they're just finishing up a few things. You can kind of see all the room that this gives you if you want a high top. You could even get windows. Megan didn't get hers with windows, but if you choose to, you can get the high top with windows. So, and also last time I was here, they were working on the interior build of a Econoline that actually had the pop top, but they also do Sprinter vans here. So we're gonna walk inside this Sprinter van. They're not done with it yet, but we'll just kind of show you some of the stuff they're doing in here. So we're inside number 31. This build is called uh, the Stormtrooper, Project Stormtrooper. It is a Mercedes-Benz 2021 extended 170 with a 4x4 conversion done on it so we basically completely outfitted it so that it'll have seating for around about seven people and sleeping for about the same as well we've got a full-size galley this stands at over 36 inches high it's actually about 37 and a half we've got a big water tank induction stove great big fridge freezer lots of storage um, further down here we've got a big stainless steel shower this will also have a little toilet in it um, so this is super nice for him to have as well the owner of this van and then uh, it's got a real nice screen on there over on this side this is actually a, a bench setup that will transform into bunk beds for kids and then we have our proprietary mountain range this is actually the wasatch front that we put on this wall right here further down we have a dinette area with uh, Right here we've got overhead cabinets. The dinette will be seating for six to eight people with two separate tables, which also will make into a bed. On the driver's side, we have water storage. We have a Rixons hydronic uh, heater and water heating system, which is all integrated into that. And then on the passenger side, uh, we have the full electronic system, which is primarily Victron products, beautifully put together by uh, our guy Dave here and uh, his Instagram handle is right here on the bottom of the screen so give him a follow and if you want to check that out some beautiful work right there so we've got about a week and a half left maybe two weeks left on this build so lots of trimming out to do the primary work which is the overhead cabinets shower galley and the dinette uh, that's all completed right now so now it's on to finishing insulation and then uh, wall panels so another cool thing right here at uh, Wasatch is they're starting to do their own upholstery. So you got Ryan here, he's working away on the Juki. How do you like the Juki? I love it. Juki. I've got a brother, so I, uh, I appreciate what you're doing there, putting in some zippers. Yeah. So here's another example of some of the stuff that they're sewing. So they made these custom window covers here for this Mercedes that they're working on. But uh, yeah, they fit really nicely into the into the window well, and uh, yeah, those look really nice. Uh, window coverings are a big deal. They uh, really help with insulating the van and just keeping your privacy while you're in the van. So if you guys notice inside the van, all the cabinetry was just perfectly cut, perfectly built, and how they do that is they've got this laser cutting table. So they design everything in CAD, and then they can cut everything perfectly on this table. So they're not cutting anything at the moment, but you can see here where they had just cut cabinet doors and then they got some other little pieces there that have yet to be popped from the uh, board. But yeah, it makes everything fit really nicely and look really professional. So 
So I was just corrected by Chad. This is actually a CNC table, not a laser table. So don't beat me up in the comments because I said laser table. I guess it's CNC. Either way, it makes really nice cutouts. All right, guys, so give me your opinion. I'm possibly thinking about going with a high top like the one you see here. Wasatch Overland, that's their, this is their company van. It's got the high top, very similar color to what Sasquatch is without the high top. So what do you guys think? Do you think I should put a high top on Sasquatch and get rid of the rack or stick with the rack and keep the van low? What's your guys' thoughts on that? Give me some pros and cons in your guys' mind to having a high top versus not having a high top. All right guys, well I'm gonna wrap up the tour here. Got Aiden. So if you guys want a custom van or a custom high top, you guys, Yep, so check out the website. I'll put it right down here and I'll put it down in the description. You know, we love Megan's high top, it's great. You know, I'm still on the fence, but I'm thinking about a high top for Sasquatch as well, maybe down the line. We'll see about that. And uh, yeah, but yeah, even if you have Sprinter vans, it's not just the Carnal lines, you know, they do awesome stuff here. So definitely give them a check out and I'll see you guys again outside.